Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. I'm currently here in Poland operating as a Sierra Papa Stroke Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar SP Stroke K4OGO. You know, I've been uh, experimenting with different wire lengths. I wanted a vertical antenna that uh, would be multiband, basically from uh, 20 to 10, maybe six. I don't know, it's getting close to summertime here. But uh, that's that, those are the bands that I usually work, basically for DX. I know band conditions here have been kind of uh, kind of wacky over the last couple weeks. And I thought maybe a vertical would give me a lower tank takeoff angle and maybe work some DX. Well, experimenting with different wire lengths from uh, all over the place that would fit on a pole that I kind of whacked and put together. Uh, I've had uh, three different poles here. They're all cracking and breaking so I just keep taping them together. I, a different lens, I came across 17 and a half feet or 17.5, which is about 5.3 meters. So uh, this thing worked out pretty well at that length. I was like, okay, hey, you know, got some good SWR readings and uh, and I thought this would work. So we'll call this thing the, uh, the 17.5. I'm, I didn't design it. I'm sure other people have used this wire length before in a uh, vertical antenna. But uh, for lack of a better term, this is the uh, vertical 17.5 multi-band antenna. I'll show you how I put it together. Uh, I'll show you, uh, I did some analyzation on it with using my Zygu X5105. Did SWR sweep across the bands. I'll show you how that came out. Then I'll show you some QSOs that I made uh, basically on each band and, uh, and show you how this thing works. Stick around. Okay, here's the antenna. This is a long piece of coax I have coming down from upstairs, the second floor window. Going to uh, one to one, Fallon for a choke. I'm gonna start off with using this uh, four to one, LDG four to one on this. I may switch over to a nine to one. I'm gonna experiment. I'm thinking four to one might be the match here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think it is, or seven, yes, yeah, seven. A five meter long speaker wire pieces of speaker wire this is an octopus i've had balled up from other antennas i've built here but anyway and then what we have is some 18 gauge wire that i have taped to a pole i have scrapped together out of three poles and it's up there 17 and a half feet which is 5.33 meters so it's a somewhat of a random wire here. I want to try this out. Like I said, this is three poles and I've had a lot of wind. It's been windy here today. This thing's kind of taking a little, you see it swing, swaying around there, but uh, that's it. My short vertical for HF. Let's see how this thing works. Okay, that's the antenna. I've got it set up and I uh, did run a uh, SWR sweep from uh, 20 all the way down to six meters. And this is what I came across. Uh, 20 meters was about 1.2 to one through through most of the band there. Uh, 17 meters was 1.7 to one. Uh, 15, a little higher, 2.0 to one. But hey, we're gonna use an ATU anyway. This antenna will require a, a tuner. Um, 12, 12 was a surprise. 12 was amazing. It was almost perfect. It was 1.1 to one. I could use it on 12 without a, uh, without a tuner. Uh, 10, once again, got up there a little bit, uh, 1.8 to one. And then as I ran it across the six meter band, I, it, I, I noticed it would work well. It was great SWR. It, it basically in the uh, SSB voice section of the six meter band. So that's it. Um, let me show you the setup uh, of the antenna itself and, and what I'm using exactly, the, the rig and the uh, antenna tuner and then after that i'll show you some qso's that i made uh basically like i said just uh one or so on each band it just kind of showed you show you how this thing worked uh on each band from 20 meters down to 10 12 and 6 just couldn't find anybody out there but uh like i said conditions haven't been that great we're kind of in the summer doldrums a little bit you know we kind of go through this uh been operating for a few years and it seems like this time of year you get a few two or three week stretch there where Conditions just aren't that great. And honestly, uh, the solar activity, it hasn't helped a bit. So uh, it's been tough. But I'll show you these QSOs, and I'll come back and give you my final on this and what I think of this antenna. And now they have the uh, antenna pretty analyzed. I know I'm definitely going to use the 4 to 1. With, I analyzed it there with the Zygu 5105. Maybe play with that some more later. But here's, here's what we're going to be using. The uh, LDG 
AT100 Pro 2 auto tuner when needed. And uh, let's see what we can do with my FX4CR 20 watt transmitter. We'll do some 20 watts. We may go back over, try some QRP if band conditions get better. They're not too good right now. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos here since I've been in Poland, powering the uh, ATU with one of these uh, Schnitt Power 5 amp adjustable voltage uh, power packs and then another one identical i'm uh powering the uh the transceiver so that's it there's the uh there's the station i'm gonna see if i can make some uh some cusos i tell you what man i really missed not having a vertical i think maybe we could uh have some fun maybe even come across some dx with a vertical Sierra Papa, stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Echo? Uh, it's uh, Sierra Papa, stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Oh boy, okay. Uh, I thought I had a call there and I went to another antenna and you wait there. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, who's that call, QRZ? Yeah, it's Sierra Papa, stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yeah, Sierra Papa, stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Sierra, okay, I got it. Sierra Papa, Golf, is it 4? No, it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm an American in Poland, so it's Sierra Papa, slash, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Oh, you're making it difficult, that's what it is, it's a slash, okay, Sierra Papa, slash, what's the rest? Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, I got you. Sierra Papa, Splash, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, Walt, I got you on QRZ. Now I'll look at the meter. Hey, you are about 5.8 to 5.9 here near Gdansk, Poland. I'm just running uh, 20 watts with a vertical here. Well, 20 watts in the vertical has got you 5.6 across here to Prince Edward Island. Awesome. Thanks so much for the wonderful contact in the PEI. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're sounding good, actually. Oh, uh, that's amazing. I just, just uh, rolled out of bed. It's 4 a.m. here, so I figured I'd cut the radio on and see if I uh, could get anything going across the pond there, and I heard you. So wonderful signal here, too. You're the strongest signal I can hear this morning. and 500 watts here, over. Roger, roger. Well, thank you so much for the uh, contact. I really do appreciate it. Okay, well, well, seven threes and all the best. And uh, Sierra Papa slash Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Victor Yankee 2, Fox United. Yours, Ed. Oscar Golf Oscar again. Yes, uh, Sierra Papa slash Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, I'm in Poland with a Sierra Papa prefix, an American in Poland. Near Gdansk, I'm up near Gdansk. You're 5'8", five 5'8". Eight, five eight. Roger, 5'8", you're also 5'8". Thank you very much, 73. 73, thank you. QRZ, zero five six Kilo Sierra. Thanks, ciao. From India, Kilo Zero, Papa Hotel Yankee, QRZ 15. Sugar Papa, stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Papa, throw Kilo 4, Oscar, Germany, Ontario. Good evening to you, sir. You're 59. Uh, QSL, you're 59 into the north of Poland, near Gdansk. I said Kilo 4, Oscar, Germany, Oscar. Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, how is my audio, Walter? Over. Uh, your audio is very good. Perfect. Leave it right there. You sound wonderful. Thank you so much. Name here is Marco. Michael from Radio Charlie Ocean. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. 73. Thank you. Good evening. Italy Kilo Zero, Papa Hotel Yankee, QRZ 15. <laughs> oh, this is Tim Mittels. Oh, this is very good. This is very nice. Uh, your airport here is 5 by uh, 1. 5 by 1, eh? Uh, in the north of Italy. My name is Robert. QSL, Robert, you're 5555. Five, five. Thank you for the wonderful contact. Oh, thank you, thank you. Can you, can you uh, resist me with, with, with my personal uh, call? This is uh, India. In Washington, three Boston, Boston, India. Uh, you can uh, register an, uh, another uh, call, India Whiskey Three. Bravo, Bravo, India. This is my personal call, Roger. 
Roger, Roger. I will have you in the log with both calls. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, 73. Okay, wow, I love this antenna. I really do. I'm going to build it on the beach when I get back to the States for sure this summer. This will be a uh, probably more than once. This one looks like it's going to be a uh, a winner for DX on the beach for sure. I know I do have that uh, MFJ 17 foot uh, telescopic whip, but you know what? That maybe that extra six inches, that half a foot there, might, it makes a difference, I'm sure, as far as SWR and using it on other bands. So, uh, yeah, I come across this just by. Uh, tinkering and, and, and experimenting with different lengths of wire and uh, I hope that my videos inspire you to get out and do the same thing this is what this hobby is all about experimenting and having fun and like I said I hope I inspire you to do the same I didn't design this antenna I just came across it by experimenting and coming across different things so uh hey get out hey, build the uh, 17.5 see how it works for you and uh and uh, maybe you have some other lengths or something you want to give me Put it down in the comments if you say, hey, try this, Walt. I'm basically looking for stuff that I'll fit on a vertical pole that, that that's uh, that's somewhat small, you know, five to six, seven meters long. And uh, like I said, come across this from experimenting, and I really like this antenna. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, come along with me on the journey of experimenting uh, with uh, antennas, wires, small rigs. I like to operate portable with low power. Uh, 20, I love 20-watt it seems to be the magic spot. But if you like that, you want to uh, come along and, uh, and and see me uh, learn and have success, maybe have some failures, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO, 73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.